Hello everyone, it's Susan here. Thank you so much for being a part of my YouTube channel. Um, I enjoy making videos for you and sharing them with all of you. And today I'm going to be working on a watercolor painting. So I hope that you enjoy. And here's the video. I've pulled out my Van Gogh watercolor paints. It's a fairly new set that I have not used very much. I wanted to do a review with all of you of this paint, really comparing it to what I know of Daniel Smith paint as well as core watercolor paint. The brushes that I'm using is that size 12 Da Vinci Cassineo brush, as well as these rounds in size four and size eight. Um, I do have some purple already mixed, but I'm gonna mix up a little bit more using Matter Lake Deep and the Ultramarine Blue. And I'm gonna show you my swatch card. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna put up in the eye, that white eye at the top of your screen. It, and I'm gonna have a video there of when I did that swatch card when I first received the this watercolor set. So this review is really just going to, I, I really want to see how the colors blend together. That is one of my favorite things about watercolor is when you can take a certain color and it's still wet and you put another color near it and it just bleeds up into it. My favorite thing probably of uh, all time of watercoloring. So... Um, I'm just going to do a quick flower with all of you, and I have sped up the video at this point just so that it is not too long. Uh, now I'm going to put on some um, leaves, and I had some green already mixed, so I just went ahead and used that. Now what I do notice, like I'm using the size 4 round right now, and when I use that, you know, it does not hold a lot of paint in it. So a lot of times I have to go back to my palette and pick up more paint. Not my favorite thing to do. I much rather, um, you know, not have to go back to my palette and pick up more. Um, but it's okay. I should have probably used the size 8 instead. Okay, so that was a really loud car going down my street. Sorry about that. And here comes the real test. So this is what this review is really all about. I have a lot of yellow on that brush and up top, I'm showing you there where it is still wet. I'm expecting this yellow to bleed up into that purple. And just by virtue of touching it, it should bleed up, right? And yeah, no. So I'm like, okay, it didn't do it. I come back, I put even more, and it is not bleeding up into the purple. Um, all it did was blend together with the yellow and make my yellow like a ochre color. So it did not do the bleeding that I expect from a watercolor paint. Um, so I'm just going to continue on with my my leaves. I'm going to give them some detail. I'm taking that same green and just going over the leaves that are there and um, giving them some deep detail. I'm finishing up those stems and um, I enjoy doing this to where um, I add almost like a, a sketchy feel to it like right there, like I went outside the original leaf that was there and I just kind of make it look just a little bit sketchy, not super neat. And you're gonna see, I'm gonna do the same thing with those purple petals of my flower. So I took a little bit more of the ultramarine blue to make the purple even deeper. I'm gonna add a little bit of shading and I'm gonna give that same sketchy look to these petals um, 
again, it should, for me, it just gives almost, almost a more whimsical type look, but I do like the sketchiness of it and the fact that it does not look flat or serious. <laughs> so I, you know, that's one of the things I always do with my flowers and my um, my leaves. So I am happy with that. Now I showed you right there, right? How that yellow is blending down in that purple I just added on. So that was great. Um, I was glad, but I mean, it was really just reactive of, you know, uh, the wet on wet and it pulled it down. I literally pulled it down with my brush. So, um, my review ends like this, that, yeah, it doesn't blend like Core and Daniel Smith, but I do like the colors. So I hope that you enjoyed. Uh, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you for being here.